my throat and my lungs are really tired, so I'm not going to read this whole poem. It's a dense, it's a dense, dense poem. Uh, my throat and my uh, lungs are very tired, so I'm not going to read this whole poem. It's a dense poem, but I'm going to give you a few uh, things to uh, uh, think about when you when you do read it uh, for yourselves. And I'm going to say one uh, a short poem about of Bill Knotts. I, I spoke quite a bit about him uh, yesterday, uh, but two things to just keep in mind. He f he finds out at the beginning of this poem. He finds out that his mother is dead by going to her closet, and it's empty. All her clothes are gone. Nobody told him. He was the kid in the poems about seven uh, years old. And then later on in the poem, there's imagery uh, that, that seems to have to do with uh, either or uh, an abortion or a stillbirth, or, or the mother, he believed his mother, he was always told his mother died in childbirth when he was uh, seven years old. Uh, I think he, uh, the imagery in the poem sometimes sounds like that. Other times it sounds like it's an abortion, which would have been an illegal abortion uh, then. Uh, I think he leaned towards uh, the latter because of the poverty in, in their family. Uh, I, believe, I, I believe he leaned, uh, leaned that way. Uh, but in the poem, it's ambiguous. When he was writing this poem in the late 70s, he actually contacted his sister, who he hadn't seen for 20, 25 years, uh, then and asked her what she thought, and she stuck to the family story, uh, which which makes sense uh, of an abortion, which would have been more, which would have been much more, uh, uh, you know, would would have hurt a lot more. It was illegal, et cetera. Uh, uh, but it's mixed feelings. Um, now. I did say yesterday that uh, I believe that Bill Knott suffered from clinical depression for, if, for, for most of his, his life. And I think one of the ways he dealt with that, there's some ways you can do that. Whether he had treatment, medical treatment or not, I don't know. Uh, but uh, a medication, I don't know. Uh, but I think one of the ways he, he dealt with that was uh, humor, and particularly self-deprecatory uh, humor. And I'm going to say one poem of his. It's a one-line poem. And just imagine a, uh, uh, somebody uh, waking up in the morning, their feet are bare in the morning, uh, and you're looking down uh, at your, you're lying on your back. Uh, just hope that when you wake up, your toes are a firing squad. Uh, would that be an example of somebody who might, uh, uh, but that doesn't say, oh, I'm so depressed. Uh, he, he, made, he made fun of a lot of the pain uh, that, that he had in his life in, in, in many different ways. Just hope that when you wake up, your toes are a firing squad. Uh, enjoy this poem. It's one of his great poems. Thank you. Okay, thank you.